And welcome back to Fear and Hunger. We're continuing our left off of, uh, well, the last episode we got raped, uh, and our ass perfused with blood. It's just, it, it was not a good sight, and I, I didn't like it. So, I mean, we got our coffee, we gotta get one more episode done before I gotta run to work. I don't know if I'll be able to upload both episodes in one day, but I'll try. But the good news is, we got Boney the, Boney the Skeleton. Um, the bad news is, uh, I mean, it's just like, look at this shit, I mean, like, he needs better shit. I'm not sure if I, if I had a ghoul, whether or not I would have more control over the ghoul's attacks, or if they just are random all the time. Wait, what? Who's this dude? I'm starting to feel hungry again. Let's eat some cabbage. Like, look at this, 29? Cabbage is so filling. Who the fuck are you? The merchant, hello there, dweller. Your eyes, they are starting to have that absent gaze in them already. Who are you? A little bird told me that these dungeons just swallowed a new set of poor bastards. I saw a business opportunity, that's all. So what will it be? You have silver coins. What do you want to trade them for? Oh. I mean, I, I have zero coin, I mean, so I, I can't offer you anything. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Merchant. I'll, uh... Apparently he sells potions. Life potions, though. Health potions... I could I didn't even look at them, to be honest. I was like, oh, hey, potions. Life potion sounds like something I could revive, though. So if I find silver coins... Also, how many tinder boxes do I have? One. Let's not waste them. If we... Also, is there a guard in here? Open. Guard? Guard? Cage isn't here. I'm gonna just search around this level and do all the searching I need to do. Hopefully I'll find a save booklet, because then I would save at, let's say, level 3, and then I'd be able to stop the episode. That'd be really awesome if I could, if I, if I could get another successful save. That means getting the book and not fucking that up. Probably found in the library area in level 1. But that depends entirely on my luck and the goddamn coin flipping. This area is completely different from what I remember. Oh, wait, it's just different. All the high morals and ethics have no value here. There's no place for a little miscreant like me in the warmth of the sun anymore. I'm part of the dungeons now, part of the never-ending nightmare. Just one more cog of machine of fear and hunger. In a way, I find it comforting. I have a definite place in this wicked world, but I'm writing this here as a warning for anyone who happens to step down to this darkness. Do leave if it is still possible. You find a small booklet under the guest book, you take the Book of Fears. I reread it. This nightmare has taken its toll on me. I'm devolving into a something far lesser than the man I once was. All the high morals and ethics. Okay. All the rest of the same. Opium powder. Nice, nice. We're not going to snort any of that. I'm going to be assuming I can craft bombs as well since we have nitroglycerin powder. But we need to understand alchemy. No doubt. We have absolutely no idea. Like, we, we have no concept of it. We just... We, we have nothing. We need to learn alchemy. Guards? Hello? I swear there was a ghoul in here. Yeah, there you are. I want a map. Gimme. Map showing the distribution of army units on the table, a list of inmates. Anyways, let's see if we can... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mmm, heads! Fuck! Ah. The necromancy failed. Oh, wait, I can just retry? Okay, how many times can I fail? It has to be sanity? Is it taking a toll on my sanity? I don't even know. Should my mind be closer to 100 or to 0, I wonder? Let's see, 69 to mind. Let's try again. It fits fucking tails, I swear to god. Come on! The... The vision is getting darker and darker. I get a feeling like I'm go something bad's gonna happen if I fail one more time. Mind... 
Hmm, let's just drink some alcohol if we have any. There we go. Alright, let's see what happens if we fail it one more time. Either that or we just get it right this time. Hmm, there we go. If anything, I, I, I would bet any money we would become possessed. Woo! Give a name to the ghoul! Um... Uh, his name is Jeff. Why not? My name is Jeff. Jeff doesn't seem to remember. Shamelessly, he scratches his groin area. You got herpes? You got, you got something down there? You got clap? They're boxes. Ooh. But hey, so far we're pretty successful. I mean, we failed way too many times, but I can't complain. Can't really complain. So we need more weapons and shit. Oh, the little girl now. Um, Sob Sob, are you okay? Um, could we... We could get a fourth member, I mean... Hmm. We could. We could do a lot of gruesome shit, no doubt. I, th I think I'll... I'll open the cage, fuck it. This is a small key. Join my party. There we go, now we got... You know, this is a great party. We got a... A dude with no sense of ethics and morals, the Dark Priest dude, I mean... And he has zoophobia. I'm gonna have to look up what zoophobia means, just to remind myself. Then we got a Jeff! And then we got the girl with plasmophobia, and then Boney. She's surrounded by monsters, I mean, come on, that's... that's... that's horrible. Oh well, we still got a nice party. Ooh, wooden buckler, shit. Here you go, Jeff. Okay, Jeff can't use it. Okay, that's great. Alright, so, with that done... Ah, oh, the live oh, oh. Wonder if the whole ex boy is still here, where we like talk him into being like, "You don't have to, don't do it, don't do it," and, and then we can chop off, chop, chop off his legs, I guess. I don't know why not. Talk no jitsu. There is no need for killing. Oh, uh oh. Okay, it's completely different. Nasty bite. No, not bony. Oh shit, and she was making the girl bleed. Shit, shit. Okay, um, fuck. Ah, uh, shit. I, I, hmm. Problematic. Oh shit, the prisoner keeps on. Oh shit, okay. The fuck is that? Like, mild bleeding? Hey, get rid of his fucking arm. I, I don't... I don't even know. This guy's not listening to talk no jutsu. How can he attack now? He shouldn't be able to. Seriously, just die, please. Okay, this ghoul is maybe not the best party member to have. At the very least, with skeletons. Skeletons, you can equip them. I need to give this girl a small dagger and shit. Fucking tackling? Are you kidding me? I could... Uh, search. God damn it. Alright, well... Questionable. My party's getting weaker and weaker. Tails! Hell yeah, what'd I get? Save book? Empty scroll. Empty scroll? That doesn't sound useful at all. I don't even see it. It's not even there. Or it's right here. Hmm. Unfortunately, you don't have anything to write with. Oh. Wait, is it? Weird. Ah! Maybe this will tell me. Book of Fears and Phobias. Necrophobia. The fear of death and corpses. Plasma, fear of ghosts and ghastly. Oh. Zufo, the fear of animals and beasts. So our main character is afraid of animals and beasts. The other girl is afraid of ghosts and shit. Okay, well that's, I guess, good to know. Um, heads. It always goes back and forth for some reason with me. I, I don't get it, but hey. Book of Forgot- Oh shit, wait! I think that was the save book. 
A book with... Ooh. I think that is the save booklet where it's, you can save once. Shit, we might be in huge amount of luck. Like, huge amount of luck here. If that was indeed the booklet of saving, death is the answer. No, it isn't. No, no, not gonna do that, man. Mock? Oh, mock-up book. Okay, that's useful in the next level, too. Hopefully... Oh, hey, these... Wait. New gods. Someone has written false idols here with blood. Strange. I hope I don't run into any more... Um... Oh, it's a sacrificial chamber. I, I really want to know... I mean, first I gotta save. Then I'll be able to at least figure out what the fuck... Nope. I, I'm starting to feel hungry. I'm going to try to avoid... The guards. I have no need to fight them. There's absolutely no need to get injured further. Oh yeah, I really gotta... Do I have bandages? I swear the water... Water vial? Water, full water it looks like it smells drinkable. I don't have any bandages to stop the bleeding. That's not good. Okay, there's the door leading out. I'm gonna have to see if there's anything else in this area. I think this way just leads to where the guard was. Nope, that's the cage. Alright, then what is over here? I don't want to run into any guards. But it's very likely. Yep, there's a guard. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. If we step on that, he'll be alerted though. No? Okay. <laughs> left, right, left, right. Is he, does he look upwards? Oh, he does. Down? So, okay, it's randomized. Okay, come on. Look somewhere else. Oh, God. Uh, no, okay, well, let's just move back up here quickly. Hmm. If we keep smashing the door, I can't remember if that can injure us or not. I can't remember. Well, we'll keep smashing it, I guess. Whatever. Come on. Oh, shit, okay, we just walk through, okay. Bandages, please. Explosive oil, that's nice. Oh, leather helmet, that's good too, shit. Uh, apparently we should drink some alcohol now. So far, at least, we've been able to avoid fights, which is very nice. All I gotta know is where the fuck that guard went. Knowing that is half of the battle. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, he could be anywhere. I'm just being careful. Okay, he's... Yeah, he's, you know, he's right fucking there. No, but I, I would definitely say so far we've done really good. The problem is... I definitely wouldn't be able to win against the crow with this kind of fucking army. But hey, I can give him a leather helmet! Can I give anyone else the leather helmet? I can give her the little fucking helmet. How about Jeff? Nope. He doesn't want it. Boney! Well, Boney has the weapon. I want Boney to last the longest. Alright, well. The mist here carries the same odor as the dungeon air. Uh, partly decomposed body. Nothing else, I guess. I know. There's a well here. It reeks of death. Fuck! 
No, why? Who would be stupid enough to jump down a well? Honestly. Honestly, come on. I think... We should be able to kill these fuckers. Without cause, without problem. Let's just do it. Oh my god, so much fucking missing. Okay, fuck it, we're just attacking their torso. There's so much missing going on right now. There we go. I, I, they, they changed the way of how I used to fight these guys. Search. Priest robes, so, alright. Before... It was like, um, ah, it's, just, it's just things change. It's not the same. I have to like relearn the strategies. I also have to see which of these things. Water vial. Is it for health? Is it for mind? Uh, I don't know. Wait, it did heal some of the body. Interesting, but not a lot. I definitely need to find some healing potions. Or at least find a recipe to be able to make them. Alright, this is all the time I have. I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, too long of an episode, and we gotta... I, I gotta split it for an unfortunate ending a little bit later. So, you'll find out in a bit. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, click on the subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Rawr.